In the past, I used to free range my quail chicks up in a neighbour's meadow, and he used to allow us to cut it specifically so that we could do that. But that's no longer an option because he's now cut that and uses it as a lawn. Um, so what I decided to do is to free range them in our garden. Um, and I'm going to show you what we did and some of the pitfalls we came across, some of the things we didn't think about and some of the things we were pleasantly surprised at. Anyway, this is one of the stars, one of our latest quail chicks and he's pretty feisty. He loves being out in the garden and now he's calling his mum. You can see the strength of the bond and the trust between these two here. Um, although he's constantly around her feet, so he's very attached to her, he can still go quite a little way away and she'll call him back when she finds something. But he is quite independent. Although these quail are very calm, I still feel that they need a certain amount of um, privacy when they're foraging. I mean, normally they, in the wild they would be foraging in undergrowth. Um, certainly they seem to feel happy doing that. I really like this little bit here where he actually starts to dig on his own. He's going to look for his own food. Although, there again, she'll still call him back when she finds something. And um, I think it's lovely because at, at this age in the wild, this quail will probably be out on his own, sorting his life out, and um, she still looks after him. I think there is something quite psychological about size as well. To her, he's still quite a small chick. I do like to introduce the new quail chicks to the older quail quite uh, early on. So I put the mother and um, the quail inside the greenhouse in the run, and so they can see them. Uh, here you can see there's no problem uh, between the adult quail and this smaller quail chick, uh, even to the point they'll let him eat his worm in peace, whereas if it would be two adults, they'd probably be fighting over this worm. The quail chick and the mother hen have a great bond together. You can see that here. It's very evident. And what is also amazing is that she actually knows the difference between when he's just calling out sort of a, a mummy mummy kind of noise and when he's really in danger and you can see she's she knows better than I do because I would have judged that noise to be that there's something going on but she knows better. Um, this is great as well you can see here she's presenting with a food it's in fact a grub that he's never eaten before and she represents it showing him that he can eat it and in the end he does eat it and that's you know another great part of him learning how to be able to forage, it's, it's a good lesson for his future. One thing we did worry about, um, the quail chicks being in the garden, and it's something we didn't have, because we should have thought that uh, the adult quail do often escape, um, because I open the greenhouse door and I'm not looking and one walks out. They're very tame, it doesn't really matter, but the hens have got used to them. Um, in fact, they even have a little calm sort of noise or a rather interested sort of noise they make, so we do actually know where the quail is. One thing I didn't realise, and I should have done, is the amount of food a quail chick can eat, of, um, particularly of worms, uh, everything he can find and everything his mother can find. And in fact, um, the first days we had them out, uh, one of them actually just overstuffed himself completely to the point that he fell over. He was so full um, and I actually thought he was a goner. I had to give him a, an emergency drink of water. So that's a thing to consider because they're, they're like kid in a candy store. And again, uh, one thing I didn't think of, um, and it may not be relevant for you, but I have a lot of little chicks that have hatched this season. And um, the last lot, I free range it in the evening. Of course, I never thought about the quail quail were originally um, brought out of the wild for fighting and uh, little quail chicks are no exception. He's in the garden. This is quail's chick's major enemy. So you're going to say thanks for watching? Are you such friends? Go to sleep. Night night everyone.